Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I was a college student once uh, when I was younger. I don't think I'd care to repeat that experience as an adult. Not because I couldn't, just because I'm learning so much outside of the classroom, uh, more than I think I could ever learn inside the classroom, unless, of course, I was pursuing a master's degree or a doctorate. Uh, which I know many of you have done, and congratulations, it takes a lot of hard work to get that far, even to go for a bachelor's, you know, or even an associate's. It, it takes time, it takes energy, it takes effort. And if that's something that you need and that you want, then you should go for it, no matter how old you are. And based upon that premise, I've got a top five list uh, from Tuxedo Jericho. And Tuxedo Jericho writes that he recently started to go back to college at the age of 31, after a seven year absence, and he had a few tips. They may help uh, some of you who are in the same boat. He says older people. I don't think he means that in a derogatory way. I think he just means non traditional students. At least that's what we used to call them. Boy, we were PC. <clears throat> it will help older people adjust to going back or starting college at a later age in life or a non traditional age. Number one, do not be afraid to ask questions. If you don't understand, don't feel embarrassed to ask questions. The younger people in there think that. If no one asks questions, then they can get out of class early. They love it when someone else asks the questions about things they don't know, but they don't want to do that themselves. Well, that's true. A stupid question is always the question not asked. Number two, do not fall into the trap of the computer labs or rec rooms. Those two things can derail a youngster, fresh out of high school, quicker than train. Just imagine if it were to happen to you. And see, for me, I had no choice but to go to computer labs. And I can tell you, that was around the time that, um, well, LAN parties weren't really uh, around back then, but we used to play Doom across campus with one another. Uh, it was a blast. That's when Doom, like, Doom won. Like, Doom. Not the movie. Like, the game. Like, for real. It hit right around the time I was in college and getting into the internet and what have you. And it was a blast. And it, it totally, I spent so many, um, so many nights in the computer labs playing Doom, and uh, I remember I, I stayed up late one night. I can't remember what I was doing. I, was, I think I was talking to friends. I stayed up all night, and then at 8 o'clock in the morning, I, I didn't sleep at all. I had to take a math test, and boy, I fell asleep during the math test, and it was like I was sleeping, and I was still writing, and I'd wake myself up, and I'd read the, what I was writing, and it, was, it wasn't like a, like a 2 plus 2 math test. It was more like a, a, like a math theory class specifically for education. And I had written something completely incoherent. And I looked at it. I'm like, what the hell did I just write? Erase, erase, erase. I think I failed that test. And lesson learned. Um, doom bad. Number three, professors love to help when they can. If you know your professor is not teaching a class, go to them and ask for help. They love to help and love more when students come to them. It shows that you want to learn and trust them enough to let them help you, even when you have free time. That's true, at least for some professors. Can't say all. Number four, don't fret if you're the oldest person in your class. In high school, that was a mark of dishonor. But in college, the younger students admire the older counterparts for saying, I'm doing it. I'm, doing to get, I'm going to get my degree. They know it's harder for older folk to grab ideas. He's 31 and he's referring to himself as older folk? What does that make me? I'm 35. I'm far from decrepit. I'm not wearing undergarments. Come on. Okay, maybe I am, but that's not the point. <clears throat> they know it's harder for the non-traditional students to grab ideas, but when you show that you know the info and you want to know the info, they admire you and might even ask you for assistance at times. Number five, don't feel bad when an instructor is younger than you are. Just like students, never had to worry about that. Just like students, they admire you for trying college and trying to make a better life for yourself. If you show that you are attentive in class, they're going to be ready to help you if they know you need it. Bonus tip, if you're in a computer class and you have an excessive need to ask the people who are next to you for help, just don't be annoying about it. If they're busy, don't keep asking them. If you're polite and unannoying, they're more apt to help you. Also, if you're taking a Windows Server class, and you don't know the first thing about how to hook up a USB hard drive, you may be taking the wrong class. That's true, and I have to laugh, Tuxedo Jericho, and I don't know if this typo is going to make it into the final post, but you, you missed the, the letter R in the word first, and it just kind of, I almost laughed there, but decided not to. It, it would have been funny, though, if I would have read it that way. 
But I, I do believe your assessment is correct. Very good tips. Uh, certainly wish to encourage any non-trads out there. Uh, if you're going for your degree, who cares what everybody else thinks? It's all about you. It's what it's all about. Uh, and you may even be in a situation where your family may not understand. Your friends may not understand. Your friends and family may not think you need it. But it's not about them. It's about you. Keep that in mind in the classroom. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Free to drop me a line if you have any other tips to pass along related to just about anything. Uh, whether it's computer classes or, you know, nothing to do with anything we normally talk about at all. And we're a group of geeks, you see. We hang out at this website, geeks.perillo.com, and we post pictures and videos and blog posts and forum posts, and then we tell people about upcoming events in the industry, and then what else do we do? Um, we also uh, we also chat because we've got this live video feed with this chat room and like people who are like out there like doing things like and you never really know what's gonna happen. Um, and I hear that uh, you know there's gonna be a party later this week. And you're all invited, but sh keep it on the down low and everything because don't want the wrong people to show up. <laughs> We're just geeks, that's all. Uh, so if you consider yourself a geek, geeks.perillo.com. And if you'd like to stop by the chat room to talk about geeky stuff, you're more than welcome to because the chat room here is here inside the video feed that's going live out over the internet 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.